Dr. Devlina Chakravarti, as I come to you, the question really is about also the third wave that has been raised by Dr. Jayalal. Uh, several people say during the first wave, COVID attacked mainly the elderly and spared youngsters. The second wave, we're seeing a large number of young breadwinners being attacked. The third wave likely to attack children. Most adults are already immunized or infected. How do we protect our younger generation from getting attacked in the third wave? Thank you, Rhythm, for this uh, opportunity. And uh, yes, the third wave probably would be there. Welcome, but I think that would be much better prepared uh, to handle the third wave. Uh, like Dr. Vrij mentioned, the hospital infrastructure everywhere is on the rise. There are more ICU beds, more ventilators, and every possible activity which is required to up the infrastructure is happening. Uh, more careful now, and uh, they are uh, more prone to uh, carrying out COVID-appropriate behavior, which is a good thing. And the third is the vaccination, which is going to help prevent the outbreak of the third, uh, the third uh, wave. Having said that, it is important to understand that we have to take precautions till at least majority of our adult population is vaccinated. When that happens there is going to be a herd immunity, which is going to, in the first place, prevent our children from getting the infection. Secondly, a large number of research is going on, wherein a lot of vaccines, including co-vaccines, AstraZeneca, they are trying it out now on children between 8 to 10 years, children uh, less than 18 years, and so on. So I'm quite confident that we will have a vaccine for our children by the time the so-called third wave comes in. But what is very important and what my ask is even today and which will also remain in the future is the requirement for timely supply. You did mention about the black fungus, what we call the mucor mycosis. The mucor is becoming now an epidemic with patients who are being treated for COVID not just the diabetics, not just those who are suffering from cancer, but people have been given a large number of steroids, large doses of steroids right in the beginning to combat COVID-19. So we are seeing a large number of this black fungus coming in even when the patients are testing COVID negative. And this is a highly invasive fungus. And today we are facing already an acute shortage of liposomal amphotericin B, which is the only drug to treat the mucus. So we might save life from COVID, but we might have a problem with saving them from this black fungus. So what I'm trying to say is, not only we have to be more vigilant, we have to ensure that our supplies on all fronts are taken care of, be it oxygen, be it beds, be it infrastructure, and most importantly, the medication. We had struggled earlier for remdesivir, tocilizumab, oxygen, and now we are at a stage when there is beginning of a shortage for amphotericin B. We have to look at it and we have to address it. Children in the third wave, I am confident, will be protected if every adult knows how to take care of himself and his family, if every adult vows to get back. By November, December, if majority of the adults get vaccinated, I am of the firm opinion there will be enough herd immunity to protect our children. So, yeah, Rhythm, this is the time of first and foremost, we have to shed our complacency and we have to be more patient. I know people have been living indoors through the first wave and the second wave. And if they are told that there is going to be a third wave and probably a fourth, they sometimes lose out on their patients, but that is not going to help us win this war. So very importantly, COVID-appropriate behavior is very, very important. We had been uh, very cautious during the first wave, and that made us skate through the first wave. We let our guards down, and that's an example right in front of us, and we, every one of us is suffering. No Indian doctor wants to go through what they're going through in the second wave. No Indian wants to go through the losses that they have gone through in the second wave. 
So I feel now people will again, once again, become serious about handling COVID the way it has to be, COVID-appropriate behaviors. So staying at home as far as possible, working from home, avoiding crowds, masking up, uh, hand sanitizers, not allowing uh, congregations, not allowing rallies, so on and so forth. That is the first and very important thing. Because in a population of 100 crores, if every Indian says, I will not be foolhardy anymore, I think the you know 50% of the battle is won. Secondly, every hospital is upping their infrastructure. In the private field, all of us, we are creating our own oxygen generating plants. We are you know, almost taking double the number of ventilators. We are increasing our ICU beds by two or three times more than what we had before. But my only and very humble ask to the government is the supply chains. Again, I am repeating it. Supply chains for COVID medications, supply chain for COVID complications. Whether we like it or not, COVID complications in terms of fungal infections and other issues, we have to have the medications. At the end of the day, lives have to be saved. COVID or COVID with complication or just COVID complication. So the second point is infrastructural ramping with support from the government for the supply chain. And third is vaccinate one and vaccinate all. Please allow vaccination to happen across. Let there be yes. no price capping, no debates on that. And only when we have reached a herd immunity, at least 60 crores of people vaccinated, we will be in a position to safe, safely say our children are probably now protected. Because no single vaccine is today authorized to be given to less than 18 years. The only way we can do it is let every adult save every child in this country. So if we all come together and every Indian comes together, we, we really make our supply chain strong enough mm. and every doctor pledges, which we are pledging, we will not see this day again in our life, we will be able to win over the third wave.